My name is Mircea and today on my street I'm gonna show you some cold weather cycling clothing tips what to wear so that you can continue riding your bike during winter tips for head, torso, hands, legs and feet cold day today it's one degree celsius snow on the side of the road i'm curious if you guys ride during the winter and what do you wear so if you have other uh, tips or advices besides the ones that i will show you please let me know in the comments i rode around 40 kilometers today and uh, i'm not cold at all some of the clothes i'm wearing today are from santik cycling i will use them to exemplify the tips and tricks for uh, today's video i received a big package with winter clothes uh, last week from them i'm not paid and i don't have any affiliate uh, relation with santik cycling so i'm free to say my uh, sincere opinion about the clothes <music> In winter, it is very important to dress in layers. This way, you can take one off if you're getting too warm or add it back if it's getting cold. Also, several thin layers provide more insulation compared to only one thick piece of equipment. The warm air that gets trapped between those layers will provide you with a lot of thermal comfort. So, on the outside, you should wear a hard shell or soft shell windbreaker jacket like this one from Santic. it has great wind protection but it's also breathable at the same time so you don't sweat much under it it has a front zip a high collar some reflective insertions pockets for storing your phone keys or gels silicone bands and a longer back end for more protection the material feels very nice and it's a good fit I'm 1 meter 72 and it's in European size S. It is not 100% waterproof, so I could bring with me a light rain jacket if needed. Next layer should be a warmer blouse or jacket. Like this one from Santik. It is also windproof, so I could ride in it if it's getting warmer and take the other one off. It has a warmer fabric on chest and arms, quite elastic material, also very breathable, pockets in the back, some reflective inserts, and there is a funny thing, maybe the guys from something could write us in the comments, why is it that on the inside one arm is red, and the other one, it's black. That's funny. Why is that? Anyway, the guys from Santik offered you guys an extra discount for those two jackets that I showed you. If you use the code in the description, it is a limited promotion period. So if you intend to buy these items, feel free to use the code and get that extra discount. Under this, there is a base layer that should always be wear directly on the skin. It is not from Santig, it is actually a ski base layer that works perfectly for me. Very warm, very breathable. I wear it directly on the skin under the bib straps so that I get more insulation with it. The legs are used the most when cycling, so they are producing more heat than the other parts of your body. That's why I find that this part doesn't need that much insulation compared with the torso or hands or feet. I use specific winter bib tights like this one from Santik. I like them to have straps 
to better fit during rides. Also this part offers more insulation in the middle part, so it's keeping the cold air out. The straps have sticky inside, so they don't rub or move during the ride. Very stretchy, reflective paint, some pockets for gels maybe. It has a fleece inside, so it adds to the thermic comfort. And uh, they have some windproof fabric on, on the front, so it will give you an extra protection. I rode with these ones twice in zero degrees Celsius and had no problem whatsoever, so they are perfect. I received also a non-straps version. I tried them, they feel a little bit thicker and it seems that the windproof material is even better. The head is very important to keep warm during winter rides. The head is the part of the body that loses heat the fastest, so it's essential to keep it warm. Ideally, in winter, you should wear a helmet without big air vents like this one. I prefer it like this and wear insulation headband underneath. It offers protection and also it doesn't get too sweaty. Always have something around your neck so that you can lift it on the face also. It allows you to breathe through it and it protects you from the cold at the same time. Glasses are equally important. They protect your eyes from the wind and dust. Also, if you ride in the snow-covered landscape, it is essential to have good light protection, maybe even more than summer. If it's cloudy or darker outside, just wear clear lens glasses. I found out that if you don't have really good hands and feet insulation, then you will freeze on your rides, no matter how well you dress on the other sides of your body. I would advise you to have a really good pair of winter gloves, windproof and waterproof, with fingers, so that you can access the brakes and gears easily. If it gets too cold, you could have two extra solutions. Either put a slimmer glove on the inside, so you will have two layers protecting you, or use hand warmers that you can find in ski shops. I received from Santic these really nice gloves with an inspiring message. They are windproof and have silicone on the palm for a better grip. They recommend them starting with minus 2 degrees Celsius, but I would say that they are better starting with 2-3 degrees positive Celsius in dry weather. In wet weather I will recommend you waterproof gloves. Equally important is to have excellent feet protection. Ideally, you will have a winter dedicated shoe with Gore-Tex, maybe an extra insulation on the inside. I don't have a pair like this. I use a normal summer shoe with two pairs of socks. Merino wool works best. Also, I never ride in winter without neoprene shoe covers. They protect from wind and moisture and also add an extra thermic insulation. The guys from Santic sent me also a really nice pair of shoes and socks. I've tried them on, they fit perfectly and look amazing. The only thing is that they are white and I can't convince myself yet to ride them in the dirty winter roads that we have around here. I promise I will make a dedicated review next week in warmer weather or while indoor cycling with them. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the notification button so that you know when I will post that specific video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how do you dress for winter cycling and if you have some other useful tips besides the one that I showed you. Let's learn from each other. All the best from my freezing country. See you on the next video. Bye bye.